my hometown has a real life honest to science masked vigilante I couldn't make this shit up if I tried his name is Shadow Hair and he's been working for four years to fight crime as a vigilante right now he's part of uh, the heroes or the alliance of heroes they're called and there's four people including himself that work in downtown Cincinnati it's, it's three three men and a woman and it doesn't cite their names unfortunately this is fucking amazing I'm totally fangirling out right now so other than the obvious part of awesome of having a name from Redwall this guy has stopped crimes, has used citizen's arrest, completely by legal means, all of them carry pepper spray, tasers, and handcuffs, and they patrol downtown Cincinnati looking for crime to stop, and they also feed the homeless. Uh, this is absolutely amazing to me. I know that the opportunity has never arisen for me to bring this up, however, I want it to be known now that I am indeed an anarchist, this alliance of heroes is my vision of anarchy. We don't need government. We need people helping other people. And what is the alliance of heroes? That's exactly what it is. It's ordinary citizens taking care of other ordinary citizens. Not people who can be swayed by one way or another, be bribed, etc. I don't know about other cities, but I think that the cops in Cincinnati are pretty goddamn corrupt. I don't know if you guys heard about the race riots in April 2004 that happened here. Yeah, that was fucking great. So this guy, the leader, his name is Shadow Hair. He's 21 years old, and uh, he has indeed performed citizen's arrests. He actually dislocated, it says here he suffered a dislocated shoulder two years ago while trying to help a woman who was being attacked. She was actually being mugged by a homeless man. Um, the three videos, they're news videos, unfortunately, so they make them out to be complete fucking retards, which is just unfortunate. I posted them in the sidebar. Sidebar, whichever way the sidebar is. Um, I work in downtown Cincinnati. I can tell you from first-hand experience that it's not the safest place to be. During the day, it's fine. Um, but at night, just even walking to my car, going to the garage where I park, is kind of scary. I have to pass through an alleyway, which is fairly well lit, considering for an alleyway. If I choose not to go through the alleyway, I have to take a bunch of side streets that lead me into the same, you know, amount of danger it would be if I took the fucking alleyway. I've never run into any trouble so far. You know, let's count our lucky stars for that one. But I know of some people who have. Just over about two months ago, there was a girl um, who was raped and killed in that area. And it's not an uncommon thing, unfortunately. And I think that the more people we have out there dedicated to actually protecting the citizens, the better. Um, the news videos, they kind of make these four people out to be a laughing stock. And I think that's fucking ridiculous. I agree that their costumes are not the best, but what do you really expect? Um, you know, they're trying to cover their identity. Um there's not much other you can do than just wear a mask. I don't know. I think it's cool. I think it's very Watchmen esque. And I when I read the Watchmen I just kept thinking, this needs to happen. People need to take action. They need to stop relying on anybody in a place of authority to save them, to help them, to give them money, etc. etc. We need to rely on ourselves. And that is exactly what the Alliance of Heroes is doing. They're just taking it one step further, and I think that is incredibly admirable. What more do you want? It's completely legal, and they're helping citizens. Not only that, but they feed the homeless. So... I don't know. I, I really hope this catches on. I hope that their group grows. I hope that I see them while I'm working someday. That would, that would totally make my day.
I, I just think it's amazing. And I wanted to pass the word on of how cool the Allegiance of Heroes is.